A comment to my last R44 helicopter video motivated me to create this virtual instrument that shows the pitch angle of the two rotor blades. This isn't a real instrument that you'd find in an actual helicopter. There's no practical information a pilot would get from knowing blade pitch angles in flight. But it's still a cool way to show how the pitch angle of the blades changes for collective and cyclic pitch inputs. This also shows a basic helicopter control concept that cyclic blade pitch varies or cycles during rotor rotation, but collective blade pitch remains constant. Let's show these two concepts in the animation. On the screen now, the simulation shows the collective at mid-range with a full left cyclic stick input. You can see the cyclic variation in the blade pitch angles on the blade pitch gauge, and if you have a sharp enough eye, you may be able to see this on the rotor. It might be easier to visualize if I switch to this camera in the rotating frame of reference. This is animated as if a selfie stick was attached to the rotating mast. That was a cyclic input that you were just looking at. Now this view is with the cyclic stick centered and the collective at mid-range. The point here is that with the cyclic stick centered, blade pitch angles are constant regardless of the rotor's rotational position. With no cyclic input, blade pitch does not cycle with rotation. So as long as the cyclic is centered, blade pitch angles remain constant. But I'll add one caveat to that. R44 pitch lengths are not in line with the hub's flapping axis, and this couples into a blade pitch response during rotor flapping. So in forward flight, when the blades flap, there is a minor collective pitch variation during rotor rotation, and that's what you're seeing on the screen now. A few moments ago, I had flapping set to zero, and you saw blade pitch was constant, but now the hub is flapping five degrees with each rotation simulating forward flight, and you can see this minor variation in blade pitch caused by pitch flap coupling and forward flight, even with the cyclic centered. Creating this fictitious flight instrument was prompted by a viewer question from Vamos234, who asked, if the collective is at a maximum pitch angle, does a cyclic input add to that maximum blade pitch angle, or does it reduce the collective input? I'm showing that on the screen now, and the answer is that it's additive. In this case, the collective blade pitch angle is at its maximum of 14 degrees, and you can see how cyclic pitch, in this case it's a full forward stick input, is added to and subtracted from the collective pitch as the rotor rotates. In the case shown on the screen, the blade's maximum pitch angle is 28 degrees, and that's a big number, but it's also with this very unrealistic control input with full up collective and full forward cyclic. And some of you may think 28 degrees is too big of a number for an airfoil, that this would exceed the critical angle of attack and lead to flow separation. But remember, blade pitch in a helicopter is the geometric angle between the blade cord line and the plane of rotation, but blade angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the relative wind. And the relative wind's vector varies based on several factors. It varies based on forward flight speed, whether the blade is advancing or retreating, the induced airflow coming into the rotor disc, and the speed and magnitude of blade flapping. So while 28 degrees would be a high angle of attack, well beyond the critical angle of attack, Blade pitch angle is not the same as angle of attack. But if you still question whether this is a realistic representation of the R44, there's one way we can find out. The blade pitch angle gauge lets me use the procedures in the R44 maintenance manual to check how well I did in making and rigging this 3D model. If you watched the last video, you heard me say that I created this 3D model by modeling parts from the Illustrated Parts Catalog. I didn't attempt to design my own helicopter. Instead, my goal was to recreate an existing design to use as a teaching aid. Now that the 3D model, particularly the flight control system, is nearing completion, I can operate the controls and see how everything matches the rigged blade angles called out in the maintenance manual. This will tell me how close I came to the actual design. If I follow the rigging procedures and this doesn't match the maintenance manual, then I can re-rig and possibly redesign parts to make this a more realistic model of an actual helicopter. I'll start by rigging collective travel. This procedure starts on page 10.10 .10 of the manual. First, I'll position the pitch lengths along the longitudinal axis of the helicopter. 
Then set the collect to full down and cyclic to neutral. I'll record the pitch angle of the blue blade and then rotate the rotor by 180 degrees and record the pitch angle of the red blade. This gives an average minimum collective pitch of 1.3 degrees. And I should point out the Robinson manual has you rotate the blades and average the measurements. My model is unrealistically perfectly symmetric, so nothing actually changes when I rotate the blades. A real helicopter wouldn't be this symmetric. Then I'll do the same thing with the collective full up, and this gives an average maximum collective pitch of 13.8 degrees. Per the maintenance manual, the difference between max and min average collective pitch should fall in a range between 12.5 and 13.5 degrees, and mine came out to 13.8 minus 1.3, so it's 12.5, and the collective rigging in this 3D model is realistic. Next, I'll check the cyclic rigging. To keep the video short, I'll only go through the rigging for forward longitudinal cyclic. Using the procedures on page 10.7 of the maintenance manual, I set collective full down, lateral cyclic centered, and align the pitch lengths with the longitudinal axis of the helicopter with the blue blade pitch length aft. Then with the longitudinal cyclic full forward, I measure the blue blade at 14.2 degrees nose up, then rotate the blades 180 degrees so the red blade pitch length is now aft, and I measure the pitch angle of the blue blade at 11.5 degrees nose down. So the average of these two measurements is 12.85 degrees, and the maintenance manual specifies that the average should be between 13.5 and 14.25 degrees. My 3D model is short of that by less than a degree, and I decided to call that close enough. You can see here that the rotating swash plate doesn't have much clearance from the mass tube. Rather than redesign these parts, I decided to accept that small error. Now that I'm confident the rigging is correct, my next step with this project is to connect the upper flight controls to the lower bell cranks and then to the cockpit controls. Thanks to everybody who's been commenting on this series and offering suggestions. These help me figure out things as I go along and where to go with the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.